Hey, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Driving Insights Podcast by M5 Management Services, where we cover ways for your fixed operations department to gain efficiency, customer retention, and long-term profitability. I'm your host, Tim Harkins, Brand Manager at M5 Management Services, and on today's show, we'll talk about the sales-to-service handoff, a crucial process that bridges the gap between a customer's vehicle purchase and their ongoing service experience. A well-executed handoff not only helps maintain customer loyalty, but also sets the stage for a profitable, long-term relationship between the customer and the dealership. We'll explore the key strategies and best practices for making this transition seamless, effective, and memorable. So buckle up, you're listening to Driving Insights. Understanding the sales-to-service handoff is crucial for dealerships looking to boost customer retention and maximize lifetime value. The sales-to-service handoff is the process of transitioning a customer from the sales department to the service department after they purchase a vehicle. This handoff is a critical moment in the customer journey as it sets the stage for their long-term relationship with a dealership. A successful sales-to-service handoff involves more than just pointing the customer in the direction of the service department. It requires a well-planned, coordinated effort between the sales and service teams to ensure a seamless transition. By providing a warm introduction to the service department, the dealership demonstrates its commitment to the customer's ongoing satisfaction and establishes a foundation of trust. Implementing an effective sales-to-service handoff process can have a significant impact on customer loyalty and retention. When customers feel valued and supported throughout their entire experience with the dealership, they are way more likely to return for future service needs and even purchase their next vehicle from the same dealership. In the following segments, we'll explore the key components of a successful sales-to-service handoff and how dealerships can optimize this process to create lasting customer relationships. Setting the first service appointment is a critical step in the sales-to-service handoff process. By proactively scheduling this appointment, dealerships can ensure that customers return for their initial service visit and begin building a lasting relationship with the service department. Ideally, the first service appointment should be set during the vehicle delivery process. As the sales team finalizes the paperwork and reviews the vehicle's features with the customer, they should also introduce the importance of regular maintenance and the benefits of servicing their vehicle at the dealership. This conversation provides the perfect opportunity to set the first service appointment, typically around 30 to 90 days after the purchase, depending on the manufacturer's recommendations. To make the process as convenient as possible for the customer, the sales team should work closely with the service department to find an appointment time that suits the customer's schedule. This may involve using an online scheduling tool or coordinating directly with service advisors to find the best available time slots. By taking care of this step during the delivery process, dealerships can demonstrate their commitment to the customer's ongoing satisfaction and make it easy for them to prioritize their vehicle's maintenance needs. Setting the first appointment during the sales-to-service handoff not only helps ensure the customer's return for their initial visit, but also sets a precedent for future service visits. By establishing a pattern of regular maintenance early on, dealerships can help customers protect their investment maintain their vehicle's performance, and ultimately build a stronger relationship with the service department. Introducing customers to service advisors is another key component for a successful sales-to-service handoff. By facilitating a personal connection between the customer and a specific service advisor, dealerships can help build trust and establish a foundation for that long-term relationship. The introduction should take place during the vehicle delivery process, ideally after the first appointment has been scheduled. The sales team member should personally escort the customer to the service department and introduce them to a service advisor. This face-to-face interaction allows the service advisor to greet the customer warmly, welcome them to the dealership service family, and express their commitment to providing exceptional service. During this introduction, the service advisor should take the time to learn the customer's driving habits, address any concerns they may have about their new vehicle, and provide a brief overview of the service department's offerings. 
This conversation helps personalize the experience and demonstrates that the service advisor is genuinely interested in the customer's needs. By establishing a direct connection with a service advisor, customers are way more likely to feel comfortable bringing their vehicle in for service and discussing any issues that may arise. This personal relationship can also help foster loyalty as customers appreciate having a familiar face to turn to for their service needs. Introducing customers to service advisors during the sales-to-service handoff is a simple yet effective way to create a seamless transition between departments and sets the stage for a positive, long-lasting relationship. By prioritizing these personal connections, dealerships can differentiate themselves from competitors and demonstrate their commitment to delivering an exceptional customer experience at every touch point. Now, if you're a service manager looking to enhance your sales-to-service handoff process, we can help. Our consultants can provide you with proven strategies and best practices to create a seamless transition from sales to service, ensuring your customers feel valued and well-informed every step of the way. We'll work with you to develop a structured approach that not only improves customer loyalty, but also increases your department's efficiency and profitability. So take the first step towards a more effective sales-to-service handoff by filling out our free consultation form on our website, www.m5ms.com today. Providing informative service department materials is another essential aspect of the sales-to-service handoff. These materials serve as a valuable resource for customers, helping them understand the importance of regular maintenance and the benefits of servicing their vehicle at the dealership. During the vehicle delivery process, the sales team should provide customers with a comprehensive service department information packet. This packet should include a welcome letter from the service manager, emphasizing the dealership's commitment to customer satisfaction and outlining the key advantages of their service department. These advantages may include factory-trained technicians, state-of-the-art diagnostic equipment, genuine OEM parts, and competitive pricing. The information packet should also contain a detailed maintenance schedule specific to the customer's vehicle make and model. This schedule should highlight the recommended service intervals and the types of maintenance required at each visit. By providing this information up front, dealerships can help customers understand the importance of staying on top of their vehicle's maintenance needs and the potential consequences of neglecting these responsibilities. In addition to the welcome letter and maintenance schedule, the service department materials should include contact information for the service department, including phone numbers, email addresses, and online scheduling tools. This information makes it easy for customers to schedule future service appointments and reach out with any questions or concerns they may have. Finally, consider including promotional materials or special offers for the service department, such as discounts on the first service visit or a complimentary car wash with any service. These incentives can help encourage customers to return to the dealership for their maintenance needs and demonstrate the dealership's appreciation for their business. By providing informative and engaging service department materials during the sales-to-service handoff, dealerships can reinforce the value of regular maintenance, establish trust with their customers, and create a strong foundation for long-term loyalty. Handling service department closures is an important consideration in the sales-to-service handoff process. There may be instances where a customer takes delivery of their vehicle outside of the service department's regular operating hours, making it impossible to schedule their first service appointment or introduce them to a service advisor in person. In these situations, it's crucial to have a well-defined process in place to ensure that the customer still receives a warm introduction to the service department and has the opportunity to schedule their first appointment. One effective approach is to have the sales team member record the customer's contact information along with any specific service-related questions or concerns they may have in a designated log or database. The next business day, the service manager or a designated service advisor should personally reach out to the customer by phone. During this call, they should introduce themselves, thank the customer for their business, and express their eagerness to serve their maintenance needs. This conversation provides an opportunity to address any questions the customer may have and to schedule their first service appointment at the time that is convenient for them. To further personalize the experience, consider sending a follow-up email to the customer after the phone call, recapping the key points discussed and providing a link to the dealership's online scheduling tool. 
This email should also include the service department's contact information and any relevant promotional materials or special offers. By implementing a structured process for handling service department closures, dealerships can ensure that every customer receives a personalized introduction to the service department, regardless of when they take delivery of their vehicle. This proactive approach demonstrates the dealership's commitment to customer satisfaction and helps establish a strong foundation for long-term loyalty, even in the face of logistical challenges. Utilizing F&I waiting time for service introductions is a smart strategy to maximize the effectiveness of the sales-to-service handoff. In many dealerships, customers often experience a delay between finalizing their vehicle purchase and meeting with the finance and insurance or F&I department to complete paperwork and discuss additional products and services. This waiting period presents a prime opportunity to introduce customers to the service department and begin building a relationship with their assigned service advisor. Rather than allowing customers to sit idly in the waiting area, the sales team should seize this chance to escort them to the service department. During the walk, the sales team member can engage the customer in friendly conversation, inquiring about their previous service experiences and addressing any concerns they may have about maintaining their new vehicle. This conversation helps build rapport and sets the stage for a warm introduction to the service advisor. Upon arriving at the service department, the sales team member should introduce the customer to their assigned service advisor, highlighting the advisor's expertise and commitment to customer satisfaction. The service advisor should then take a few minutes to get to know the customer, discuss their driving habits, and provide an overview of the dealership's service offerings. This interaction allows the customer to put a face to a name and establishes a personal connection with their service advisor. If time permits, the service advisor can also use this opportunity to schedule the customer's first service appointment and provide them with informative materials about the service department. By the time the customer is called back to the F&I department, they will have already established a positive relationship with the service team and feel more confident about entrusting their vehicle's maintenance needs to the dealership. Leveraging F&I waiting time for service introductions is an effective way to make the most of the sales-to-service handoff process. By capitalizing on this often overlooked window of opportunity, dealerships can create a seamless transition between departments, build stronger customer relationships, and ultimately increase the likelihood of long-term loyalty and retention. Communicating the benefits of dealership service is one of the most crucial aspects of the sales-to-service handoff. By effectively conveying the value of servicing their vehicle at the dealership, sales and service team members can help customers understand why they should choose the dealership over independent mechanics or quick lube centers. One of the primary benefits to emphasize is the dealership's factory trained technicians. These highly skilled professionals have undergone extensive training specific to the makes and models sold by the dealership. They possess in-depth knowledge of the vehicle systems and are well-equipped to diagnose and resolve even the most complex issues. By entrusting their vehicles to these experts, customers can have peace of mind knowing that their car is in capable hands. Another key advantage to highlight is the dealership's use of genuine OEM parts. These parts are designed and manufactured to the same specifications as the original components in the customer's vehicle. Using OEM parts ensures optimal performance, reliability, and longevity as opposed to aftermarket parts that may not meet the same quality standards. Emphasizing this distinction can help customers appreciate the long-term value of servicing their vehicle at the dealership. In addition to quality parts and expert technicians, dealerships should also underscore their commitment to customer convenience. Many dealerships offer online scheduling tools, extended service hours, and complimentary shuttle services or loaner vehicles to minimize disruption to the customer's daily routine. By showcasing these amenities, dealerships can demonstrate their understanding of the customer's busy lives and their willingness to go the extra mile to provide a seamless service experience. Finally, it's essential to communicate the dealership's competitive pricing and value-added services. While some customers may perceive dealership services more expensive than independent shops, emphasizing the dealership's price matching policies, service specials, and warranty protections can help dispel this myth. 
Additionally, highlighting complementary services such as multi-point inspections, tire rotations, and car washes can further demonstrate the dealership's commitment to delivering a comprehensive and valuable service experience. By effectively communicating these benefits throughout the sales-to-service handoff process, dealerships can help customers recognize the advantages of returning to the dealership for their ongoing maintenance and repair needs. This understanding, coupled with a strong personal connection to the service team, can lay the foundation for long-term customer loyalty and retention. Measuring the success of the sales-to-service handoff process is essential for dealerships to gauge the effectiveness of their efforts and identify areas for improvement. By tracking key performance indicators, or KPIs, related to the handoff process, dealerships can gain valuable insights into customer behavior and make data-driven decisions to optimize their strategy. One of the most important KPIs to monitor is the percentage of customers who schedule and complete their first service appointment. This metric provides a clear indication of how well sales and service teams are communicating the importance of regular maintenance and encouraging customers to return to the dealership. A high percentage of completed first service appointments suggests that the sales-to-service handoff process is succeeding in building trust and fostering long-term relationships. Another crucial metric to track is customer retention rate. By analyzing the number of customers who continue to service their vehicles at the dealership beyond the first appointment, dealerships can gauge the lasting impact of their sales-to-service handoff efforts. A high retention rate indicates that customers are satisfied with their service experience and view the dealership as their trusted partner for ongoing vehicle maintenance. To gain a more comprehensive understanding of the sales-to-service handoff's impact, dealerships should also measure customer satisfaction scores for both sales and service experiences. Surveys and feedback forms can provide valuable insights into how customers perceive the handoff process and identify areas where the dealership can improve communication, convenience, or overall experience. By regularly seeking and acting upon customer feedback, dealerships can continuously refine their approach to better meet the needs and expectations of their clientele. Finally, dealerships should track the long-term revenue generated by customers who have experienced a successful sales-to-service handoff. By comparing the lifetime value of these customers to those who did not receive a proper introduction to the service department, dealerships can quantify the financial impact of their efforts. This data can help justify further investments in training, resources, and technology to support a seamless transition between sales and service. By consistently measuring and analyzing these key metrics, dealerships can assess the success of their sales-to-service handoff process and make informed decisions to optimize their approach. Regular monitoring and reporting also help keep sales and service teams accountable and motivated to deliver a best-in-class customer experience. Ultimately, a data-driven approach to measuring the success of the sales-to-service handoff can help dealerships foster long-term customer relationships, increase revenue, and secure a competitive edge in the market. The sales-to-service handoff is a critical moment in the customer journey that can make or break a dealership's long-term success. By prioritizing this transition and implementing a well-structured process, dealerships can lay the foundation for strong, lasting relationships with their customers. The key to a successful sales-to-service handoff lies in the details. From setting the first service appointment and introducing the customers to their service advisors, to providing informative materials and communicating the benefits of dealership service, Every step plays a crucial role in shaping the customer's perception and trust in the dealership. It's also essential to remember that the sales-to-service handoff is not a one-time event, but rather an ongoing process that requires consistent effort and attention. By continuously measuring the success of their efforts and seeking opportunities for improvement, dealerships can refine their approach and adapt to the evolving needs and expectations of their customers. Ultimately, a well-executed sales-to-service handoff not only benefits the customer, but also the dealership itself. By fostering long-term loyalty and increasing customer retention, dealerships can unlock significant revenue potential and secure a competitive edge in their market. So if you're looking to take your dealership's sales-to-service handoff to the next level, start by assessing your current process, identifying areas for improvement, and implementing the strategies and best practices discussed in this episode.
With dedication and a customer-centric approach, you can transform this critical moment into a powerful driver of success for your dealership. If you're a current service manager, fixed ops director, or even a general manager, you need Rose Plus. The game-changing repair order survey and evaluation software that delivers unparalleled financial visibility for your fixed operations. With seamless DMS integration, Rose Plus provides a 360-degree analytical view of your service department, enabling you to elevate service advisor excellence, make those data-driven decisions, optimizing advertising spend, spot hidden opportunities, and find that sweet spot for service pricing. Visit www.m5ms.com to learn more and request a demo today by filling out our free consultation form. Now, before we go, it's time for this week's homework. We've created a detailed framework for executing a successful sales-to-service handoff. This eight-step guide covers everything from the vehicle purchase to the first service appointment and beyond, ensuring a seamless transition and exceptional customer experience. The framework is available in the show notes and on our website, www.m5ms.com, under the Driving Insights section. You'll see the episode list and a link to download the detailed framework. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for listening. I've been your host, Tim Harkins, brand manager at M5 Management Services. And as always, if you have any questions or topic suggestions or may be interested in how M5 could help your fixed operations department, please contact us on our website, www.m5ms.com today. Make sure to tune in next time where we'll talk about more industry topics that will help you drive your fixed operations department to increased efficiency, customer retention, and long-term profitability. Thank you, everyone. This has been Driving Insights.